61. What is the required compressive strength of concrete under item 406, pre-stressed concrete structures of the DPWH specifications, A, 25 MPA, B, 30 MPA, C, 20 MPA, D, 28 MPA. For information, question, and choices are taken from other ME reviewers. The purpose of this channel is to provide answer references and or calculations for educational purpose. Disclaimer. Answers are taken from the latest available reference upon the upload date of this video. For instances that there are future update of reference, the latest update shall govern. Part 8 61. What is the required compressive strength of concrete under item 406, pre-stressed concrete structures of the DPWH specifications, A, 25 MPA, B, 30 MPA, C, 20 MPA, D, 28 MPA? Answer, 37.7 MPA, reference, DPWH Blue Book 2013, for 06.2.1 concrete and grout, the concrete shall be class P as shown in Table 405.2, unless otherwise shown on the plans or specified in the special provisions. 62. Determine the degree of compaction, field density data, weight of materials taken from hole, 4.780 kg, weight of sand to fill hole, 3.550 kg, volume of hole, 0.0028 cubic meters, wet unit weight, 1,750 kg per cubic meter, dry unit weight, 1,420 kg per cubic meter, laboratory data, maximum dry density, 1,856 kg per cubic meter, optimum moisture content, 8.01%, A, 77%, B, 60%, C, 95%, D, 105%. A. 77%. Calculation. Degree of compaction equals dry unit weight of material divided by maximum dry density times 100, 1420 divided by 1856 times 100 is equal to 77%. 63. What class of concrete and range of slump will you use in concreting thin reinforced section, railings, precast RC piles and cribbing? A. Class A with slump 2 to 4 inches, B. Class B with slump 2 to 4 inches, C. Class C with slump 2 to 4 inches, D. Class P with slump 2 to 4 inches. C. Class C with slump 2 to 4 inches, reference. 405.1.2 classes and uses of concrete, class C, thin reinforced sections, railings, precast RC piles and cribbing and for filler in steel grid floors. 64. Which of the following is not commonly used as a measure of the hardness of concrete? A. Soundness test, B. Los Angeles abrasion test, C. Fractured face test, D. Petrographic test. D. Petrographic test. Reference ASTM C 295M 18. Petrographic examinations provide identification of types and varieties of rocks present in potential aggregates. Soundness test determines resistance of aggregates, Los Angeles abrasion test evaluates structural strength of coarse aggregate, fractured face test provides stability. 65. In item 514, shotcrete shall have a minimum compressive strength of blank at 28 days, A, 24 MPA, B, 25 MPA, C, 28 MPA, D, 32 MPA, C. 28 MPA. Reference. 514.3.1 Composition. Shotcrete Mix Design. Shotcrete mixtures shall be designed and produced conforming to Table 514.2. 66. 
the sand used in the field density test in determining the volume of hole using sand cone method must be clean, dry, and passing sieve number blank, A, 30, B, 40, C, 200, D, 10, D, 10, reference, DPWH Laboratory Manual Volume 1 and ASTM D1556, Determination of Density of Soil in Place by Sand Cone Method. 67. What is the basis of rejection or acceptance of any construction materials? A. Certificate of Billing, B. Materials Test Report, C. Statement of Work Accomplishment, D. Work Schedule. B. Materials Test Report, Reference, DO 59S 1989. Test reports on samples of a material intended for a particular project shall be used as a basis of acceptance or rejection of that material. 68. What is the ideal specific gravity of Portland cement? A. 3.00, B. 3.05, C. 3.10, D. 3.15, D. 3.15. Reference. Pavementinteractive.org. The specific gravity of Portland cement is generally around 3.15. 69. A new technology used in the non-destructive testing of the quality and strength of concrete is through A. An. A. Nuclear density gauge. B. Geiger counter. C. Ground radar. D. Ultrasonic testing. D. Ultrasonic Testing, Reference, ASTM C597, Standard Test Method for Pulse Velocity Through Concrete. 70. Consolidation Test Usually Performed on Samples, A. Disturbed, B. Undisturbed, C. Consolidated, D. None of the Above, B. Undisturbed, Reference, DPWH Laboratory Manual, Preparation of Undisturbed Soil Sample for Test, Significance, Such Samples Are Necessary for Density, Permeability, Consolidation, and Other Various Shear Test. 71. How many spheres used in abrasion test in grading B, A, 8 spheres, B, 11 spheres, C, 10 spheres, D, 7 spheres, B. 11 Spheres, Reference, DPWH Laboratory Manual Volume 1, Abrasion Test. 72. In Marshall Stability Test, what happens to the air voids when asphalt increases? A. Increase, B. Decrease, C. Remains constant, D. Either A and B. B. Decrease, Reference. PavementInteractive.org, percent air voids should decrease with increasing asphalt binder content. 73. Bituminous mixture shall have a minimum dry compressive strength of blank, A, 100 psi, B, 200 psi, C, 300 psi, D, 400 psi, B, 200 psi, reference. DO 21S 2019, Item 307, Bituminous Plant Mix Surface Course General, the mixture shall have a minimum compressive strength of 1.4 MPa, 200 PSI. 74. Which of the following tests cannot be performed on disturbed samples from soil exploration? A. Grading test. B. Quantity of organic matter determination. C. Consolidation test. D. Liquid and plastic limit test. C. Consolidation Test, Reference, DPWH Laboratory Manual, Preparation of Undisturbed Soil Sample for Test, Significance. Such samples are necessary for density, permeability, consolidation, and other various shear test. 75. If the bulk specific gravity of a bituminous mix is 2.342 and the dry stability is 3,000 pounds, 
what is its index of retained strength if its wet stability of a soil is 2,400 pounds, A, 34%, B, 53%, C, 80%, D, 127%. C. 80%. Reference. DPWH Lab Manual Volume 2, Index of Retained Strength equals Compressive Strength of Immersed Specimen Divide by Compressive Strength of Dry Specimen times 100. 76. Undersized reinforcing steel bars that satisfying tensile and elongation requirement may be accepted provided that its underweight does not exceed A. 3%, B. 5%, C. 6%, D. 10%. C. 6%. Reference. PNS 49 2020. Steel bars for concrete reinforcement. Specification. 77. What is the use of spot test? A. To determine overheating of asphalt during manufacturing. B. To determine overheating of asphalt during construction. C. To determine amount of spot per volume. D. To determine amount of spot per area. A. To determine overheating of asphalt during manufacturing. Reference. Pavementinteractive.org. The spot test is used to determine whether or not an asphalt cement has been damaged during processing due to overheating. 78. It is the method used in determining the strength of concrete pipes. A. Third point loading, B, mid span loading, C, three edge bearing test, D, loading station. C, three edge bearing test, reference, Ashto M86. 79. Samples of aggregate base course materials when tested for quality pass the requirements except grading. What will you recommend as a me? A, eject the material, B, Replace the material. C. Accept the material at an adjusted price. D. Reprocess the material by blending. D. Reprocess the material by blending. Reference. ACI committees. Aggregate blending is the process of intermixing two or more fine or coarse aggregates to produce a combination with improved grading or other properties. 80. Which of the following test is used to confirm the grade of reinforcing steel bars or slash used to classify steel bars into grade A. Tensile strength B. Yield strength C. Elongation D. Necking B. Yield strength The grade designation indicates minimum yield strength. Reference PNS 49 2020 Table 3 Mechanical Properties End of Part 8 Huwag kayong gumawa ng anumang bagay dahil sa makasariling hangarin o pagpapalalo. Sa halip, sa kapakumbabaan ng pag-iisip, ituring nyo na ang iba ay higit na mabuti kaysa sa inyo. If you find this video helpful and informative, please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to be notified on next uploads. Thank you and God bless.